Hi there. I'm going to take you through a quick demonstration of Sienna NDI infrastructure running in Amazon Web Services, showing you the Sienna NDI Cloud, NDI Processing Engine, and the sorts of things you can do with it. Here's what we're going to take a look at. We're going to have two virtual machines running in Amazon Web Services. One is running Sienna NDI Cloud Node Gateway. This is our wide area networking engine which allows you to uplink video into the cloud and downlink video from the cloud in high quality. We've also got the Sienna NDI processing engine running in another engine inside AWS. This is allowing signal process chain orchestration and other processing. And what we're going to do is from our HQ in London, we're going to uplink some video into the cloud gateway. We're going to process it with a processing engine and we're going to downlink some other video the finished product and some monitoring um, that's going to be done via our local cloud gateway which is going to connect to the Amazon Web Services one. Um, and remember we're in London and AWS in this case is all running in North Virginia. Um, so let's take a look at that. So if we start with uh, AWS, this is basically the control console where I've launched two engines, the processing engine uh, which is running an M52XL and also the NDI Cloud node that's also running on an M52XL. And those two engines are running inside AWS in North Virginia. Um, so the first machine is running Sienna NDI Cloud Node Gateway, which is this one we're seeing here. This is in AWS. And we can see it's connected to our local one, which here is on our local area network. Um, and these two machines are now talking to each other. And I've got web interfaces essentially into everything, whether they're local or remote. The other engine is running the NDI processing engine here, where we set up a little uh, signal processing chain. Um, so some of the things we can do is within the uh, NDI processing engine in AWS, we've got a signal generator here. And using our web link, we can view a preview of that. So this is a signal generator actually in the cloud, and we're downlinking it and monitoring it via a local Safari uh, window. What we've also got in the cloud is our NDI uh, cloud connected products. So we've got a signal generator here in London, which is being pushed up through Sienna Cloud into AWS. And that's being connected here inside the NDI processing engine where we can choose it as a source. And if we view that again, using our little web link preview, we can see that that video is getting into AWS. This is a, a downlink uh, preview from AWS to show you what AWS is actually seeing. And we're feeding that into a downstream keyer. And on top of that, we're going to key some CGs. And here we're using the Singular Live uh, cloud-based CG service. This is all running in the cloud as well. And it's basically allowing us to design and control a complete CG package, um, which is being rendered in AWS by the Sienna NDI processing engine uh, CG engine module. And that's putting out um, fill and key NDI within AWS, which is going to be superimposed on top of our uplinked signal using the downstream keyer module and then we're going to have a look at it as the finished product and also while we're there we've set up a multi-viewer so we can see that everything that's going on in AWS and that's downlinked as another multi-viewer source and we can have a quick look at the different things so we've already seen the uh, signal generator here that we're, we're just showing just for the sake of having it there we've also got the uplinked signal generator which is coming from the local source essentially from outside AWS. We've got the CG engine here. This is being controlled by the web panel in Singular and I can just turn things on and off here and you'll see that they'll, this is the raw CG. That's being superimposed on the downstream keyer and if we take a look at the output of the downstream keyer here we should be able to see, the, here we go, the graphics are keyed on top of the uh, incoming source and we can turn things on and off and animate them on and off and so on. Uh, what we've also got, of course, is the multi-viewer output here, which shows us basically all of the things we're playing around with. And there's lots of different multi-viewers that you can do. And again, this gives us a remote view into everything that's going on inside AWS. Um, and of course, it's not just about seeing them in kind of preview quality through the web interface. We can also uh, bring up a full quality, uh, full HD monitor here. So this is basically a full quality downlink of the um, finished product here. It's this, this, this node right here. So this is now local again in London, and we can output it to SDI, or we can basically use it as our finished product. And as I was saying, we can 
remotely control the graphics. You're going to see them coming on and off in the finished product. And what we can also do is we can locally view the multi-viewer, put it out to a full-size HDMI display if we wanted to. And we've got audio as well, and we'll have tally as well shown on that as we use things. So this is essentially what you can do in AWS. It's really very powerful. We can provide remote contributions from multiple different locations all over the world into a central point in AWS using the CNN NDI Cloud node gateway in AWS to receive everything into an NDI uh, signal. We can have another look at that uh, diagram we started with. So everything comes into NDI Cloud node gateway from you know, our local gateway or for other gateways anywhere else, anywhere in the world. They're all presented as NDI signals in the subnet within AWS. And you can do things like process with the CNN NDI processing engine. You could also have other things, perhaps a NewTek VMC1 virtual, which will run virtually now as well. Um, other vision mixers, other graphics systems. You can use our CNR NDI router as well within the AWS uh, subnet if you've got a more complex scenario that needs uh, more sophisticated routing. And of course, we're, we're not just contributing up through the gateway, we're also downlinking uh, monitoring. So multi-viewer, finished product. Um, and that can be our finished product we deliver. Alternatively, we can deliver it straight from uh, the cloud. So you could actually stream directly to YouTube or Facebook or any other kind of CDN directly from AWS. And this gives you your complete pop-up uh, media production solution within AWS. And this whole engine that we've built here, you can, you can turn on and turn off at will. So I've, I've just uh, turned it all on this morning. When I'm done here with this demo, I'm gonna turn it all off again at that point. It's not consuming any expense within the AWS domain. It's absolutely possible to do this now. You can build ad hoc pop-up broadcast infrastructure in AWS using NDI internally within AWS, uplinking, downlinking with the Siena Cloud uh, system um, and providing the ability to dynamically construct production facilities as and when you need them without having any fixed infrastructure. If you like this and you'd like to know more, please contact us. You can uh, find the details at siena.tv, S-I-E-N-N-A.tv. Thanks for listening.